Okay, Pimax hand tracking module. Looks like infrared emitters, infrared cameras, USB port. At least one screwdriver. Two different sizes of screwdriver. So it can gel beads. Probably all the screws we need. Nothing else in here. Looks like there's a little dust cover on the USB-C port. Take that out. Push this in. Mm, that's interesting. Okay, that seems to fit well enough. Make sure we know which screws we will be using. That's a good question why there are so many screws. Maybe for other headsets. These are metric machine screws by the look of it, Phillips had. These are obviously a little bit more coarse and I hope that I don't have to use them. Let's see if the machine screws do anything. So far, no. See if the machine screws even look like they're meant for these holes. They could be. In this case, I'm not going to worry about the serial numbers showing since the hand tracking module itself is a much less expensive device. still kind of unique though, considering the wide field of view it's designed for. All right. I may have to check the forms but it looks like I might actually be expected to use the wider screws. Can't think of any reason to use more than two screws here. I don't even see where you could insert more than two screws, so I'm guessing that they are intended for different headsets. First, let's actually give it a try to use the metric screws. Uh, doesn't seem to do anything. Yes, those just sprint, spin freely, so there's no use for that. Oh. 
looks like we do indeed have to use the larger sized screws. Seems to be threading okay. seems to be working. It may look like I'm putting a good bit of pressure on the screws, but actually I'm being very, very gentle. Abundance of caution. Okay, so the screws don't seem to thread very far, and they require some pressure to actually start threading, and once they do thread, it seems like it takes maybe one or two turns to thread. I think that's intentional. They're not supposed to be doing much. They're just supposed to ensure that the hand module doesn't disconnect from the USB port too easily. Really, the USB port enough, the USB port itself is almost enough to hold that in there. That's it.